Hello YouTube, I'm Robert Foley. Welcome back to another car review. Today we're looking at a 2021 Ram 1500. This is the limited trim level. Uh, basically, as nice as it gets. If you're looking for a luxury truck, this is a luxury truck. So without further ado, let's go for a drive. All right, so the truck that I'm reviewing is equipped with the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. This one is not the e-torque Hemi. This is just the regular Hemi. It's got MDS and VVT. So basically MDS, it shuts off half of the eight cylinders when it's not under you know, heavy load. And it's kind of cool because you can feel a little bit when that happens and then a little eco indicator will pop up on the dash. This engine is certainly not a slouch. They use this engine and have used this engine or variations of it for the better part of the last you know, 15 years. So you're gonna be getting 15 in the city, 21 on the highway for a combined fuel economy of 17. Again, like I said in the last one, I drive with a bit of a lead foot, so those numbers are a bit lucky. I've been driving it, I've probably put like 70 miles on it so far, and getting 13 and a half, which is actually what my dad has a Ram with a Hemi. It's right around what he gets as well. So don't, <laughs> don't think you're gonna get 21 unless you're really just putting on a crap ton of highway miles. So the Hemi's gonna get you 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. So like I said, this thing definitely gets out of its own way and it's, it's impressive how quickly this truck can get up to speed considering how much it weighs. And that Hemi is gonna be paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission. And this thing shifts about as smooth as you'd want. And this is definitely the power plant I'd recommend going with if you're in the market for a Ram. You can get either the 3.6 liter Pentastar engine, which was in the Grand Cherokee L that I reviewed last week, or you could get the three liter Eco Diesel engine, which is gonna be not as quick, but definitely more torquey. So I guess if you're, if you're towing a lot and you want a 1500 versus a 2500, I'd go with the Eco Diesel, but if you're towing here and there but this is ultimately just your daily driver definitely go with the hemi it's worth the sacrifice of fuel economy for the extra power in my opinion gotta take my liquid death break guys this is really really good water it's different it's i think it's different because it's in the can um but it's a really funny can to read if you guys haven't heard of liquid death go definitely check them out um trying to get them to sponsor me so liquid death let me know where you're at. I'll let you know where I'm at. Give me some water. I'll give you some promotion. See how that works out. Even with all the sound deadening and stuff in here, I want you guys to hear how good this engine sounds when you get on it a little bit, waiting for an opportunity to do so. Okay, I think this is my opportunity to do so. So good, just so good. So the exterior color on the truck is gonna be ivory white tri-coat pearl coat. It's a beautiful color, especially when it's clean. Um, when it's not clean, you see a lot of stuff, but um, as long as you keep the truck clean, this, this color shines awesome in the sun. It's got the pearl coat, so it's pearlescent, and it's a beautiful, beautiful color. So you do get tons of crazy features on the inside and the outside of this $70,000 truck. All right, so the vehicle that I'm driving, base price of $60,650, um, and you've got all the standard equipment that the Limited comes with. Uh, optional equipment on this particular vehicle is gonna be that ivory white tri-coat pearl coat exterior paint, which is a $500 option. You're also getting the customer preferred package 25M, which is, quite a bit of money. You're getting the head-up display, the digital rear view mirror, and the LED center high-mounted stop lamp, which is going to be the one that's right above the bed back there. Um, you're also getting the uh, body color bumper group, which is a $195 option. Uh, you're getting the limited level one equipment group, which is going to get you the pedestrian emergency braking, the 19-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. Uh, you're going to get adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane keep assist, parallel and perpendicular park assist, um, ventilated rear seats and the surround view camera system. The panoramic sunroof is a $1,495 option 
and the 22 inch uh, polished painted wheels are going to be a two thousand dollar option and then that brings the grand total to seventy thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars on the outside you're going to get power running boards automatically come down when you open the door and they automatically go back up when you close the door and with them up this truck looks so sleek paired with the air suspension this thing rides a bit lower than a typical ram does and it looks awesome it's a really 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 handsome truck on the limited trim level you also are getting remote start and obviously a proximity key with push button and the proximity doors so you don't have to use your key to get into the truck as long as you have the key on your person uh, you can just go up walk up pull the handle the door will unlock um, on the way out, there's a little button on the door. You can just click that and all the doors will lock. So for you off-roading folks, the approach angle is gonna be 19 degrees. The departure angle is gonna be 24 degrees. Your minimum ground clearance is 8.2 inches and your max is 10.8. Not as versatile as the Grand Cherokees, but then again, you're not buying a truck specifically to go off-road. You're buying a truck because you wanna tow stuff or you wanna feel big on the road. The mirrors on the doors auto dim when it gets dark outside so headlights don't blind you. You're getting LED headlamps, tail lamps, the third brake light, and fog lamps. So everything on this truck is LED. They're super bright, they're super vivid. You are getting the spray on bed liner straight from the factory so you don't have to worry about scratching up the paint in your bed. Um, it's done for you before you even pick up the truck. You've also got tons of safety features on the outside of the truck. You've got blind spot assist. Uh, you've got the surround camera system, 360 surround. Um, so you'll get the top down view. You've got a front view, a back view, um, and it allows you to pull into tight spaces or just maneuver um, where otherwise it'd be difficult to see what you're doing. It's also got front and rear parking sensors. So if you're getting close to something, the screen will show that and it also beep at you letting you know how close you are. Um, if you're parking in a garage, like a lot of people do, um, it's nice to know when you're about to run through your garage or you know, you're know you all set. It's got lane keep assist, which will direct you in your lane when you're on the freeway. Um, it'll keep you in the lane, so it'll sort of avoid that swaying that tends to happen. It's got automatic rain sensing wipers, same thing as the last Grand Cherokee I reviewed. If you just leave them on, forget about them, when it rains, they'll turn on, and when it doesn't, they'll be off. Just remember to turn them off before you go into a car wash. And I only say that because I've done it myself, left them on, the wash just rips the wipers right off the car. Moving on to the interior, uh, the color combo in here is known as Indigo Frost. Uh, you've got the Indigo leather and then the Frost sort of tan leather going on. Um, it's, it's definitely a nice combo, not something I'd personally choose. I think it's going to get dirty because things tend to do that. Um, if you're super cautious about how you wash your truck and keep your stuff nice, I think it'll last fine. Um, this leather is super, super high quality. It doesn't feel like the typical pleather that we have nowadays where it's like vinyl leather. This is, this is real stuff um, and it feels nice. You've got really cool uh, stitching all over the truck for the limited trim. Um, you do get this in the Laramie Longhorn edition as well, um, but this the stitching is really beautiful and it's done really well all over the truck. You're also getting a heads up display which will display your current speed, uh, the street that you're on, as well as the speed limit if it can detect a sign. It's a really nice, nice feature. There's a lot of roads that don't have signs available and you're sort of guessing and then you end up in a bad situation where you're getting pulled over even though you didn't see a sign or if there was a speed change it'll it'll detect that automatically which obviously is a very nice feature you've got the digital rear view mirror which uh fca has been huge about putting in their new models um so you just flip the little switch it turns into a regular mirror flip it the other way and it is basically just a camera view of what's out the back um, I thought this was honestly a gimmick when I first started driving these past two cars, um, but I've left it in the camera view because when you drive at night, 
Um, you're not getting the reflection of the headlights behind you. You're just getting a video of the headlights behind you. So it's not, you know, hurting your eyes. Um, it doesn't make you unable to see. Um, so I think it's definitely a nice feature and something that a lot of people wouldn't even think of. Standard in the Limited is going to be the Uconnect 12 system. It's a gigantic Tesla-esque screen in the middle. Um, so if you've got CarPlay up, it'll take up the, the top half of the screen and then your bottom half. You can choose what you put down there. Um, I have like the climate controls down there so you can adjust your heated and vented seats. You can you know, adjust the temperature. Um, so it's definitely super handy. Um, if you don't want to use Google Maps, which is going to be on CarPlay or Apple Maps, whatever you prefer, you can also use the built-in navigation system on the bottom half while you have your phone projection displayed on the top half. Um, something which is really nice, obviously you have this gigantic screen and they let you customize it, which is really nice because you can really choose what, you can cater this vehicle to you a lot. Along with this Uconnect 12 setup, you're getting a 4G LTE hotspot. Um, if you're going on a long trip and you've got all your kids back there, um, you can keep them occupied on the, the phone or tablet with their games or Netflix or whatever you guys like to do. You've also got adaptive cruise control with stop and go. So typical adaptive cruise controls, they will speed up and slow down to react to the car in front of you, but they won't do the, the stopping and going. They'll usually shut off around like 25 uh, miles an hour. This doesn't do that. So you can actually, and I'll do it right now. This is the first time I'm trying it. So you can get it ready, set your speed at 35. Um, we're gonna be coming up to a light up here in just a sec and I guess we'll figure this out together. All right, so we're approaching the stoplight. I'm curious to see how this reacts. Wow, we're going into this fast. Okay, but it is stopping. Wow. Okay, we. we it's kind of scary because it does go into the turn very fast, but we are stopped. Cruise is still set. I'm gonna turn left and I'll see how this does. It's definitely, kind of sketchy having the car control itself but if you're on a highway and you're driving for hours and hours and hours I can see how I could get tiresome constantly reacting to cars and stuff but for just normal city driving I'd personally probably leave this feature off <laughs> but I'm gonna see how it works because it is pretty cool see now the car isn't going okay so it didn't work that well with the stop and go I think it's kind of because we were on a turn whoa now it's now it's taking control Wow, okay, see, <laughs> that's kind of sketchy. That's definitely kind of sketchy. The car just started driving itself. Um, I guess the speed limit's 45 around here. Okay, but it is coming to a stop again. Let's see how it does. Slowing down. I'm gonna set the speed to 45 because that's what the speed limit is. Okay, I see brake lights and the truck is not slowing down. All right, well, that guy just got out of the way. Slow down. All right, I mean, honestly, the braking is pretty smooth. Um, it is coming to this pretty slow. That's pretty cool. That's definitely pretty cool. I think it's gonna accelerate really fast. Like on that turn, it was really sketchy because we were going around kind of a tight turn and it started going up to 35. All right, go. See, now it doesn't know what to do. Now it does. And now it accelerates pretty quick to get up to 45. Currently getting four miles to the gallon, but who cares? We're driving a Ram. Okay, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't start accelerating as soon as it needs to from the stop, which I think is sketchy. As you can see, we've got this beautiful panoramic sunroof. Um, it's awesome. I wish my car had that. Um, I'd say it's nicer for passengers to be able to look out of it than the actual driver, but uh, nevertheless, it's a cool feature. You are getting a 19 speaker audio system in a Ram versus that Grand Cherokee. Um, and frankly, I think the Harman Kardon system sounds better than the Macintosh system. I think the, the clarity of the Macintosh was slightly better. But like I mentioned before, you are getting heated and ventilated front 
and rear seats in a Ram. Like this is supposed to be, you know, utilitarian pickup truck. This is the most luxury pickup truck experience I've ever had in my life. I've been in a lot of pickup trucks that are dirty and muddy and stink and <laughs> they ride like crap because it's a pickup truck. You're not getting that with this. You're getting a really, really, really refined experience. Um, and you know, you typically think of a pickup truck, the ride quality is gonna be garbage. It's bumpy for sure, but the air suspension completely makes up for most of the bumps. And honestly, it feels like I'm driving my Toyota Camry when I'm driving this huge 7,000 pound pickup truck. Some more interior safety features. Um, you do have parallel and perpendicular park assist. Um, so this thing can actually park itself in some spots. Um, if you're not comfortable with parallel parking, which I know a lot of people aren't, it'll do it for you. So you don't have to worry. Okay, so it says that there's a space found now. Okay, so it wants me to pull, stop and remove hands from wheel. Shift to reverse. What? No way it's about to do this. awfully close to that other car. Is it gonna ask me to shift to... Okay, I'm about to hit that guy's mirror. Apparently, okay. Shift to drive. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. It'd almost be easier to park yourself, but it's cool that it can yeah, even do stop. it. stop. Shift to reverse. I think we're in this spot already because wow still very close to that geek squad van like too close for comfort honestly what's it telling me to do shift to drive <laughs> i think it is going to park us pretty well though stop shift to reverse It actually accounted for him being too close and this car being further away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess we're parked. And you have an insane amount of room in the back of this thing. All right, so I'm about to get in the back of this truck and keep in mind, I am kind of a short guy, but even still, I've got at least a foot of legroom back here, a foot. And on top of that, you have three very, very comfortable leather seats. This middle one pulls down and is actually, uh, you know, a drink carrier and a little storage compartment back there. Also back here, you've got two USB type C ports, two USB type A ports. These are both quick charge. Um, you've got a full, you know, home outlet. Um, vents full vents that open up and you've also got heated and ventilated seats in the rear which is crazy um gigantic window you have a lot of viewing space and obviously you've got the beautiful view of the panoramic sunroof uh, individual lights for each side over there and more speakers there's speakers all over this thing 19 of them also in the back seats, you're gonna get um, the floor storage, which is actually a pretty decent amount. You could fit some uh, some tie down cables or jumper cables or anything, and there's one on each side. So you do get plenty of room. I wanna also mention how many cup holders this vehicle has. So you've got one there, that's two. There's two in there, that's four, six. There's two in each front door pocket. So that's 10. And then you've got two in the middle up there. So that's 12. You've got 12 cup holders for a car that seats five. That's how you do it. Like an insane amount of leg room. You have, the window is gigantic. You have an awesome, awesome amount of room in the back seat. Um, so this thing will definitely be comfortable for long road trips. Even for 
full-size adults. It's not like it's only kids that can fit back there. I'm a pretty short guy. I'm five foot seven, um, and I have over a foot between my knee and the seat in front of me. Um, even on that side where the seat's pushed back further than this side. Um, so don't worry if you're a super tall guy. Um, my friend David, he's six foot eight. He sat back there this morning and he was like, wow, I have a lot of room. Uh, so he was definitely surprised. So yes, like I said, ride quality in this thing is pretty superb. Um, you've got really good steering feedback, again, considering it's a truck. You've got very, very comfortable, and obviously you can see the bumps in the camera, um, but they're really not translated like that into the seat. Um, honestly, this thing might ride better than my Toyota Camry, um, which again is a huge surprise. It's a pickup truck, but that's all thanks to the air suspension. You're literally riding on a cloud of air. Um, so uh, what do you expect? It's not going to be bad, right? <laughs> all right, so this is going to be a bit of a doozy. There are a bunch of different trim levels available for this truck, uh, starting with the Tradesman. That's going to start at $35,645, um, and that's for the 4x2 configuration, no extra options. But what you are getting standard is uh, the Pentastar V6. You're getting Uconnect 3, which is a 5-inch touchscreen. It's going to have Bluetooth, hands-free calling, everything you really need, all the necessities, but none of the crazy features. You're not going to get a huge screen, um, but it is going to do what you need it to do. Um, you are going to get the backup camera standard and... Uh, cloth seats, but you are getting an electric parking brake. They did that for all the Ram models just so they could unify that whole thing. Moving one level up, you have the Tradesman HFE, which is um, kind of a weird configuration truck. It's only available with a 3-liter turbo diesel, and that configuration is going to start at 34645 with the quad cab. And there's tons of different cab bed options that you have. You have the the crew cab with the 5.7 box, you have the crew cab with the 6.4 box, and you have the quad cab with the 6.4 box. Um, they aren't all available in every trim. Um, they are for the lower end models, but when you get up to the higher end, they don't do any of the quad cab. You just get crew cab options so that you have a nicer experience inside the truck. But you are going to get a tonneau cover from the factory. And you are going to get 20 inch chrome clad wheels. Um, it's definitely an odd configuration because the only option is the diesel, um, but I, I assume it's for fleets. Um, you can get, you know, towing, tow-ready trucks, um, fuel-efficient tow-ready trucks, and they have basic features, but enough to get you by. Moving one level up from that, we have the Bighorn trim level. This is going to be sort of the most popular um, truck. I'd compare it to sort of the LT of Chevy trucks, um, but that one is going to start at 37,390 with the quad cab and the six foot four box. Um, you are going to get standard with that the Pentastar V6, um, but you are going to upgrade to a six speaker audio system instead of four. You're going to get 18 inch aluminum wheels, a leather wrapped steering wheel, a chrome grille, and both bumpers. Uh, you're going to get fog lamps on this trim level and the in-floor storage, but only on the crew cab models. Um, so that isn't an option on the Tradesman or the Tradesman HFE, but it is going to be an option on the uh, Bighorn. One level up from that, we have the Laramie. Um, this is going to be sort of like upgrade to the Bighorn, but not quite as nice as uh, a Limited or a Laramie Longhorn. Um, this configuration is going to start at $42,080 with the quad cab six foot four box. Um, with this, you're gonna get the LED headlamps, tail lamps, and fog lamps. Uh, you're gonna get the upgraded Uconnect 4 with the 8.4 inch touchscreen. Uh, not quite as great as the Uconnect 5 that you guys saw last week on the Grand Cherokee L, but definitely still a very capable infotainment system. You've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, and you do also get the upgrade to the seven inch driver information display in the middle here. Uh, Laramie trim levels are gonna come with heated and ventilated leather seats only in the front. Well, leather everywhere, but heated and ventilated only in the front. 
The driver's seat is going to be 12 way power adjustable and four way lumbar adjustable. You get the heated leather steering wheel, and this is where you start to see sort of the introduction of some of the safety features. So, you're going to get forward collision warning with active braking, and you're also going to get memory for the driver's seat, adjustable pedals, and the mirrors on the outside, as well as radio presets. And you're also getting the very nice Alpine 9 speaker system with a subwoofer. Moving one level up from that, we have the Rebel, which is sort of Ram's competition for the Ford Raptor. Um, this one is only offered in the Crew Cab 5.7 box or the Quad Cab 6.4 box. Um, and this configuration is going to start at 46,120 with the Crew Cab 5.7 box. So this is going to be sort of like the, the more sporty off-road kind of trim level for you. Uh, you're going to get the Sport Performance hood with the hood scoop, 33-inch uh, Goodyear Wrangler tires, 18-inch um, aluminum wheels on those tires. Um, you're going to get the black wheel flares, the wheel well flares. The rear axle in the back, you're able to lock from a switch inside the cab. Um, you're going to get vinyl cloth seat standard and the 12-way power adjustable driver's seat. Um, all the other seats are going to be manually adjusted. And you also do get the off-road group. Moving one trim up, this is where we start getting into some of the nicer stuff. Uh, we have the limited Longhorn, um, only offered in crew cab configurations, but you do get the choice between a 5.7 box or a 6.4 box. Um, and this configuration is going to start at $52,780. Uh, with that, you're going to get the Uconnect 4. Uh, this is going to be the 8.4 inch screen, um, but you do get nav standard, which is pretty nice. Um, you're going to get the same 7 inch screen, but with the limited Longhorn uh, theme on it. You're going to get chrome grills, both bumpers and door handles. Uh, premium leather seats, which is what I have in here. Um, this leather is definitely a higher quality than the other stuff. You can feel the difference for sure, especially on your skin. It just feels softer and more real. You're getting chrome uh, side steps on the side. They're not power, but they are going to be chrome just to sort of match all the chrome on that truck. You're also getting uh, the chrome front tow hooks. You're getting a lot of wood, metal, and leather on the inside. Um, this whole dash in here is leather. It, it feels really nice. There's no hard plastic pretty much anywhere to be found in this thing. It's really, really a premium truck. You're also getting 20 inch wheels uh, standard with the limited Longhorn. And moving up to the highest end, um, minus the TRX. I'm not even gonna cover the TRX because that's its own beast, honestly. Um, but the last and final highest end trim is going to be the Limited. Uh, so again, this is only offered in crew cab um, models, but you can choose between a, a short box 5 foot 7 and a long box the 6 foot 4 inch. Um, and this configuration is going to start at $57,150. Um, this is where you're going to get the V8 standard, the 5.7. Um, you're going to get the 20 inch polished aluminum wheels, which you guys saw. I actually have the upgraded 22 inch wheels um, looks fantastic. Um, you are going to get the dual zone climate control, the premium leather group, so you're getting premium leather all in the entire inside. Um, the driver information display in the middle is going to have that limited theme which you guys saw earlier. And you are going to get the 12 inch screen standard um, with navigation. Uh, the power running boards are going to be standard on the limited models and you're going to get blind spot monitoring with rear cross path detection and trailer detection um, and you're going to get the air suspension standard on this level. So the limited is basically what I have but it's got a couple more packages which added about 10 grand to the whole price um, but I think it definitely looks very 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 nice. It feels very very premium. Alright it is time for scoring. So I'm going to give this truck a 9.5, and that is pretty impressive. I don't think a whole lot could get better in here. Um, I think what I am going to complain about is that they're still using the same window switches they've been using for the past 12 years in every single one of their cars. This is found in minivans. This is found in Dodge Darts. This is found in Grand Cherokees. This is found in everything. Um, there's a lot of parts bin specials going on, um, but everything about this truck otherwise is unreal. It's the most premium truck, like I've said, and I keep saying this stuff, but it really is 
something else. You've got to get out and try one of these. Um, I think you're going to find yourself wanting to justify the $70,000 price tag, which um, I don't think a lot of people can. But for the people that can, I would not have a problem recommending this to anyone in that market. I think this is a beautiful truck, and I think um, the Ram brand did an excellent job with this. Um, compared to Chevy interiors, Ford interiors, Ford interiors especially, um, I think this just blows them both out of the water completely. Um, in terms of just everything, the materials, the way everything's laid out, it just feels premium, it feels nice. The doors are heavy and solid. Every time you close it, it's like, wow, this thing is nice. Um, so yeah, 9.5 out of 10, hard to beat. And I think you guys should go out and test drive one if you have the option to. Like always, let me know what you guys wanna see next. Um, like I said, I've got a Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealership. Let me know if you want to see something fast or if you want to see something more practical. Um, I'll definitely take your you know, comments into consideration for future videos. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.